By the way, is that John Wayne stuff the dumbest thing? What is this thing now where we're just going to dig up dead people? And just, did you see what they said in 1964? Well, I I imagine nothing good. <laughs> They fucking got this documentary coming out uh, about Michael Jackson. It's just like, the guy's dead. Like, so I, I don't understand, like, what the fuck would they, every other day now, somebody dead, somebody's got to come along and fucking dig them up and be, hey, you know, they, they, you know, I don't know how much you enjoy this music if you know that the person did this. Why do they only do it to famous people? Can't all of us dig up our grandparents and be like, yeah, remember when you said that? <laughs> all of these fucking, I just do, I do not fucking get it. I don't fucking get it. Can you believe this, this fucking guy who was born in 1907 sounded like a guy who was born in 1907? Yes, yes, I can. Whose grandparents don't go out and say crazy shit? That's the new fucking thing. Unearth a, unearth a fucking interview from 40, 50 years ago and then line it up with today's, you know, what's right. In, you don't have to go back that far. Go back into somebody's Twitter history. Remember when you said this? Yeah, no, no. Remember when we were all saying that? That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, you know what? You motherfucking cock sucking fucking assholes. What now? Just gonna, I swear to God, this means some fucking bullshit. Hello? You have what? Miss who? I don't know who that is. All right, bye. I have Miss Simmy? Miss Kimmy? I don't know who the fuck that is. Um... Anyways, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's like the new fucking thing. The new fucking thing is to go back in time and just look up. Hey, uh, Cor hey evidently Truman Capote, was, uh, he wasn't as fucking Truman as we thought he was. Just think about some of the, just before all of the, the fucking jokes. I literally saw somebody get interviewed the other day and they were talking about the office the American version, and they ask, could you make that today? And, oh, no, no, we, we could never do that. We, uh, most of those jokes wouldn't work today. That was 10 fucking years ago. All right? So, Jesus Christ, enough with, with the fucking shock and awe that you, you're going to dig up somebody who died 40 fucking years ago and they said something surprising. Um, it's like if you were born in 1907 and somebody interviewed you 40 years ago, you, you, you would not want that interview to be made fucking public. You wouldn't. Um, anyways, what fucking world do we live in that the, the office is now considered too edgy for television? Oh, Jesus, you could never do it. It was one of the most absurd fucking shows you ever saw in your life. Um, I don't know, but that's where we are because that's where we are because 8% of the fucking, that's my rough as far as I can tell, the people that I talk to. Everybody else is just like, dude, what is the big fucking deal? Yeah. You know what's fucking hilarious? Someday you're going to sound like your fucking grandparents. Someday you're going to be in your fucking 70s, and something you said in your 40s is going to sound fucking ridiculous. Like, nobody's, like, it's, nobody's allowed to, like... I don't, I don't know. I don't even, I don't even fucking, and I don't understand all of these fucking people that are going on social media doing this. It's just, I want somebody, what about you? If, if, if anybody gave a fuck about you, you no named cunt and went back into your fucking life, they can't find somebody to say that you said something or did something. It's called being a human being. Jesus fucking Christ. I told you that shit when I was in Scotland, that woman left that, wrote that fucking article. I was talking about commemorative statues, and she's like, nothing makes my heart sink like when I hear they're, they're going to put up a commemorative statue. It's like nothing. It's fucking uh, genocide, child pornography. Nothing quite makes your fucking heart drop like the making of a commemorative statue. Oh, Jesus. Um, anyways. 
can you believe Christopher Columbus was actually a fucking asshole? New evidence shows. It's just like, where was that new evidence? What was it just sitting on somebody's desk for fucking 400 years? Um, he's a, and all these fucking people compared to what? Somebody in 2019? Yeah, I, I would like to think that people learn how to treat other people better each year. That's what we're supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? If you go back and watch an episode of Solid Gold, there's a lot of people dancing today that uh, on that thing that would get laughed out of the fucking club, and that was the peak of dancing back then. <laughs> <laughs> but it progressed. And now all those moves that were unbelievable are now kind of basic. That's what happens. It just kind of, you know. Can you believe the guy that won the Indy 500 in 1955 wouldn't even have qualified for the race in 2019? I don't think this guy's a champion. <laughs> I think they need to rethink that championship. Top end, well, he was only going 140 miles an hour. I mean, the fucking pace car today goes faster than that. Um... I don't know. I don't, so it's just, I, I, it's, uh, all right. If it, does that do anything? Does it really do anything to say, hey, this guy who's who's been dead for forty years is is actually this now? So what am I supposed to do now? Go back and look at this person's sports career or their fucking movie career and look at them differently somehow and then sit there and look at myself like I'm this great fucking person just because I had the luxury of being born when I was born and then be so fucking full of myself that I'm not looking at this guy being like, well, wait a minute, someday I'm going to be dead 40 years and then people go back and see the things that I said and am I, am I, like, I'm going to survive that. Um, all right, Bill, I think you made your point. All right. You know, a lot of people think Abe Lincoln's a good guy. Apparently, new evidence shows he went to a fucking Sadie Hawkins dance, and uh, he evidently, he was fucking quite rude to his date that night. Four score, hashtag four score and seven beers ago. Drink much, Abe? I don't know. 